Okay, so my name is Damian and I'm the chief storyteller at Edgar. It really <laughs> does feel like a reunion. So I think you two know me and I will pitch to Rahul today. So, uh, <laughs> so what we do with Edgar is we help brands uh, create, build up their brands and engage their customers with powerful stories. So our team is actually a story on its own. We all have deep advertising experience, even the two computer science PhDs, uh, me included. So, but why did we all leave this fancy agency life? We work at DDB, CNN, uh, Zimanta, and other companies. So we quit because we were kind of suffering and suffocating, and so we decided to actually hack the business. Uh, as you said, it didn't work that well in the beginning, but it's working really well now. It's working because we focus on the small brands, businesses like this one, the Challenge Future. They inspire and amaze millions of people, but probably none of you here know, knew the brand. So we said, like, this is exactly why we need to create Edgar. And what do we do with Edgar? We help <coughs> these guys. This is how it works for them. The Challenge Future guys come to us. They post a brief. Uh, a brand strategist gets the strategy done, and then we automatically assemble the best team for the job. So 80% is automated, while 20 remains in the hands of creative director to keep, to keep the quality and ensure timely delivery. So what does it mean for them? They basically chill and relax and get involved only when needed. So what they get with us, they get a powerful brand story, but they get the identity if needed, and we help them with campaigns. So yeah, we are like Don Drapers of the world, but we are actually the same quality, but more transparent, faster, and uh, of course more approachable, and uh, a bit cheaper. So we have competitors like Visually, I know you know them, Dave, but what they do is they focus on single pieces of content, while we actually focus on the whole story. The whole story means that we do the upkeep, we do the strategy and the creative uh, direction. So we take a 30% commission from the creatives and that's how we are being profitable since June 2014. And we have clients, mostly SMEs, SMBs, but we also work with big ones like Red Bull and Vodafone. So to help us scale and grow by up to 2,000%, we need to finish the back office. And that's why we are raising 550,000 euros, and we are halfway there. So we encourage you guys to invest and partners in the region to join us, because we want to spread in the region as well. So that's our story. Perfect timing. So, uh, go back to the slide and just get the stats on it. Sorry, so operational for three months? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and 60, I'm sorry, that looks like the off a little bit. 60% monthly growth. Uh, client, paying client growth, yeah. Okay, and do you think that's going to continue scaling? I mean, how are, uh, how are you getting be, customers? To be honest, uh, at the end of the year, we will reach a threshold. So, because we don't want to be the agency model anymore, because I quit DDB, I was the creative director there for a reason. So, I love advertising, but we want to hack it. That's why we started with the tools, it didn't work. Uh, but that's why we are building the back office. It's like a CRM for agencies, it works for us, and we are willing to rent it afterwards. So, that's secondary plan. Sure, I understand the language you're using to there. That's totally probably lost what you words. just said, yeah. 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 So, we can scale with, uh, with the back office we're using. We are 20% there, uh, so we can scale faster. So the freelancers jump in, plug in the system, and then we automatically match them. So who, who is actually generating the creative content? The creatives. So it's, uh, it's 40, so, 40. So do you have a network of creatives that you're linking to the Red Bulls of the world? Yeah. yeah. How, where are you getting them? Where do they live? How much? They live, yeah. they live from Tokyo to the West Coast. So we, we have 40 freelancers, photographers, illustrators. We focus on visual. Like infographics, comic, branded comics. So where does the executive producer reside then? Like the executive producers, we go like Uber, city by city. So we have Sofia, Vienna, London, Berlin, Singapore. Okay, sure. so then I'm a startup, right? And I'm setting up a company. Do I go to you to set up my creative? Uh, we can do a brand audit, like a Skype, but we prefer you actually meet someone. So. Startups are generally shitty clients. You should turn them down and go yeah, to the larger I, I, agencies. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm, I'm just asking, like, who is your, your target is what, Red Bull, not, not a startup? No, what we do with Red Bull is the, they actually went to India, so they do an NGO in India. So I totally don't them. understand your business model. Help me out here, okay? Am it's I a, a startup? Am I, is your customer a startup or is it McDonald's? No, no, it's, uh, the customer is more a startup than McDonald's. Okay, so I'm a startup. I go to your website, right, and I say I want to get a whole brand creative. What do you charge me for that? 
We charge you. Uh, we have the the pricings. So what it's is from, the prices? Uh, core story is three thousand euros and up, and then the brand identity five. So Holy shit, it. man! I'm a startup. Where is the three thousand euros going to come from? Yeah. You can go and so, freelance. But, yeah. So I, you know, we're investors in in visually. We're investors in Contently as well. And I heard the pitch from Newscred. I totally get that there's a big business out there for freelancers outsourcing that design and doing that. What's differentiated about what you guys do versus other players and where do you see a specialty that you're growing it's, into? It's like Alfred that was pitching at the struggle. You are actually the concierge. So we take the freelan your freelancers even and we manage them. So what you get with Visual is, Visual is really amazing uh, because they're the only ones who actually do campaigns and they actually care. Well, contently, they give you one piece of content. Newscred charges you 10K per month for a self serve service. So it's a platform. So it's a huge, huge business where we want to be more like Visual. So outsource project management for creatives is a specialty? And the branding part, because visually, for example, is not in. Okay. I'm, I'm just used to using, like, for example, Design Crowd, right? You go on Design Crowd, they hook you up with designers, uh, you pick which one you like. It's very inexpensive. So I'm still lost at the pricing model, but uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The, the pricing, we want to keep the price so we can have designers in London and Berlin, not just designers in Sofia. So we, we position ourselves just below your average designer. Sorry, and then how much of the 3,000, 5,000, 9,000, et cetera, how much are you taking of that? And how much of it goes to the, uh, the creative? The creative, it goes, we take 10 to 30%, like Uber does. Like when they are rated well, okay. they get 10, we take 10%, otherwise 30. So. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.